These are the new VivoBook series. This one is the VivoBook S14. Well, this one is the VivoBook S15. So both of them come with like incredible colors. As you can see, so this one is the red. And the 14 inch version also comes with a very stunning green, actually, you can see clearly. And also a blue color with some red trimming. So the total upgrade of this series this year is adding an, uh, a ScreenPad 2.0 in it. So this is the new ScreenPad 2.0 with very mobile-like and intuitive interface. So right here, I could easily scroll through the apps. I could change the position of the apps. I can delete them, cancel them, uh, all on the main screen. So what we can do is we can see the functions right here. The, the bottom left one is the mode switch, which gives you uh, touchpad functionalities. So if you use the mode switch, a black half transparent uh, layer will come up and you can use it as a touchpad. Very, very easy. Okay, so there are also some utility apps such as the number key, which we also have in the Zenbook Pro Duo series. What we can do is we can open again PowerPoint. And we can use the number key and handwriting functionalities. For example, the number key, very intuitive. And the handwriting function, as always, supports uh, handwritten input. So, hello again. And the text will very uh, intuitively go to the main display. And for some other stuff, Here's a app navigator, which you can see recent apps that you open on ScreenPad. For example, I open my Asus and I go back home with the home button. I open KBox, which is a music app. Then, when I open the app navigator function, we can see all the apps here. And we can very seamlessly uh, clear these apps without needing to tap on the actual X icon on the top right corner so you can better manage your workflow. And also for uh, Microsoft apps such as the PowerPoint, we have a corresponding uh, slide expert function that you can open. So when you're using this function, you can very easily use them to uh, do some quick toggles such as making the words bold or also a very quick number input. Other things we can do include uh, changing the colors or going into presentation mode just like this. So you can very intuitively use these apps. And for the settings, you can actually change the brightness, the background, and all the resolution and refresh rate on ScreenPad. And also, if you have more questions, you can go through the interactive quick guide, which will guide you through the main functionalities of ScreenPad 2.0. And here, for the 15-inch version, we also have different color, including this transparent silver and the coral, also the red. So, yeah, that's it for the VivoBook series this year. And the main uh, attraction here would definitely be the ScreenPad 2.0. Okay, so here's the 14-inch uh, VivoBook. S14. And for the panel here, we have an IPS panel with nano edge display. And also, you can see it's very slim with ergo lift here, with about three to four degree ergo lift, which gives you a better typing experience 
and also better voice output and thermals. For the I.O. port here, you can see these are two USB Type-A SD card slot, another USB Type-A HDMI, and also USB Type-C, and a headphone jack. And on the 15-inch version, very similarly, we have two USB Type-A right here. On the right side, we have the same HDMI Type-A USB-C, headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. So for the 14-inch version, we do not have a number key, physical number key here, but we can actually use the in-app number key for better experience in number typing. For the 15-inch version, however, we have a physical 10-key number key right here, so you can make use of this make the most of productivity for your products. For some information about the specs, both machines come with up to i7 processor with up to MX250 graphic cards. So it should give you enough, enough uh, performance and portability at the same time. With very, very identical, uh, very cool design right here. 